In Inventory Setup, you can define your general policies for inventory management, such as the policy for negative inventory and the posting and adjustment of inventory costs. To view Inventory Setup, simply click on the Setup button in the ribbon and then select Inventory Setup. In the Inventory Setup page, you can specify if automatic cost posting should be applied and how often. You can also stop the inventory management from allowing negative inventory by ticking the box. This ensures the company can only sell items that are in stock and prevent inventory falling below zero. In the ribbon you can allocate the inventory periods used. Hence you can set up combinations of inventory periods with accounting periods for when adjustments can be made to inventory value. You can also establish the units of measure for inventory, thus establishing how your business measures your inventory. This can be in numbers or groups such as pallets or pieces. For service management, the units of measure can be in time, such as hour or day. Item discount groups allows you to establish the discount group codes for customer, vendor or the item card. Through the posting tab, you can establish where transactions for inventory are recorded in the general ledger. Then you can set up those posting groups, as well as create item journal templates. And that's the inventory page.